welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thanks for the support so um today i did say i was going to be crafting with um goodie box number one so just to remind you what i got in there i got some stamps i got this polar animals little book i got these beautiful dies i got um christmas toppers with little henry on i got a um luxury topper set with the winter woodland We've got the Christmas Classics um, Bundle of Bears, a luxury topper. I'm just going to put those two to the side because I'm uh, probably going to be playing with one of either of those. Um, we've got the Winter Wishes, Festive Fun Fair. I don't think I'm going to be playing with that. Um, uh, special Delivery, luxury topper set. We've got this huge pad, which is beautiful, which I did say initially would be the thing I craft with first, but then... I decided to go with some of the smaller packets first of all and then i got festive friends the whole um set with the inserts so let me just pop these out of the way because it's definitely going to be one of those two that i'm going to go with today so let's have a look do i want to go bright or do i want to go matastic we'll go bright we'll go Okay, so let's open this up. Grab that out. That way. So we've got decoupage there. So really it's just one topper, but we can possibly steal some of the decoupage. And then I've got two pieces of cardstock. Okay, so I think I'm going to divide the decoupage in two. I'm going to have to find another little sentiment. Let's pop that to the side and bring in a card blank. So as usual, it's going to be six by twelve. I think I think the first card I'm going to do is going to be a cutaway one. So we'll do a cutaway panel on it. So I need to score this at six first of all. So we've got our halfway point of our six by six card. Let's give that a really good burnish down. And then I can bring it in my trim. Sorry for the dog barking the neighbours are moving around out there so it's not looking very pleased okay so if I'm doing a cutaway let's see so I want to keep the panel about three inches I think um, so we've got one and a half inches to lose and I think I'm going to do it a little bit off center or shall I do it center let's do it center I haven't done a center one for a while so I'm just going to bring my trimmer up to one and a half and then to five and a half there. And then if I pop my trimmer up to the top and if I line that up straight with my one and a half point, they should come up and meet. And we'll turn that over and do the same on the other side. Straight. And there we go. I've got two pieces of nice white card for use on screen. And then we've got our card blank. So let's just give it another burnish down. Okay, so let's start with some matte and layers. So the foiling on the kit is gold so I'm going to bring in some merry card and I'm going to do the map for the back first of all so two notches off the six and two notches off the six and check that fits on quite nicely and it does and I have got a piece here, but I don't know what that is. 
that so it's three so you can take two notches off that three and two notches off that six and that should go on my front panel quite nicely yep, happy with that and then let's see I'm going to save this piece with the bears on from a second card you can use the copper on the first one so let's cut this down so four notches under the three pretty much taking all of that um, holly up Oops. and then four notches under the six Just check that fits quite nicely. I'm happy with that. And then I think I'm just going to take that little bit of green off. So just because I um, there's only the two toppers in this kit, I can be quite generous with the cardstock. So just want to get to the edge of that. I want that bear hugs on the bottom of my card. Okay. And then I can take this down to four notches under the six. It's five and three quarters. Obviously that's a nice chunk of card. You wouldn't throw that away. Find somewhere else to use that. Again, that's another piece. You could even just chop into that and use that as a sentiment. I might do that one on the second card. Let's just see how that lies on there. That sits nicely in there. Okay, so let's pop that out of the way. And bring these pieces in. Let's take the top. So the glues I'm going to be using as usual. In this one I have the Clow All Purpose Glue which is alcohol based. And then in this smaller one I have the Quick Dry Tacky Glue. Okay. So let's pop some glue on. And what I normally do if you've watched me before you'll know but I do say every time in case somebody new is watching I use the um, all-purpose glue in the centre and then a little bit of tacky glue on the corners just to make sure those corners go down and actually it makes my card glue quite quickly uh, doesn't give it quite as much uh, wiggle room time which means I can move on to the next thing without having to worry about anything moving. Not sure why this is now being a little bit difficult. We're there now. Just give that a good press down. And I'm going to put this one on as well. So again. A nice lot of glue all over the middle with a little bit of this tacky glue in the corners. I'm just going to give that a good press down. Okay. So again, just keeping on going with these layers. And this one's got the beautiful gold foil detail on there as well. Oops, just make sure that drops in the middle. I don't want that to hurt my cardstock. Okay. So give that a nice press down. 
Okay, so let's grab the topper. I'm just going to bring in this piece here just to check that the best podge does fit over it nicely. It kind of looks a bit like a decolage kit, this one. And it does, so we just have to trim that down a little bit as well. So that's going to go on there. Let's separate these layers out. That one's going there. Then this is the next biggest layer. So we will have that on here. And then if I get my hand in. This one over here, and maybe the sack. And then we'll see about those other elements at the end. Okay, so let's get some foam pads. I think I'm going to go with some one millimeter ones. So let me grab some of those. Let's do those. And just pop some of these on. You have to let me know what you've got in your boxes, whether you've got this one. I know uh, Calamity got different things to me, so. She'll be doing some different videos, I would imagine. as much foam tabs foam pads on as me. Back's on there. That one's sticky so we use that one. Uh, I tend to do lots. I'd rather put too many than not enough. been shopping in any of the other Black Friday sales. I uh, was watching Nancy Stamps today and she was talking about Lisa Horton's inks on offer. Um, Spellbinders have had a, a sale ongoing for a, a while now. Sort of a Black Friday and then it was a sort of pre-Black Friday and Okay, actually I want to pop these on as well, so I'm going to make that stand out a little bit. So I'm just going to put three down the centre. where we want that to be. I think I'm going to go quite high up. Right there. And then that's the hard bit once you've got that on is just popping these layers on top. Which 
this nice and easy. glue just to give me a bit of flute time. And what I'm doing is just matching up the border at the bottom and then just watching for those Teddy's ears at the top. You won't have a bright light shining in your eyes like I do. Okay. The weather is supposed to be cold this weekend but bright. So perfect weather for crafting. Have a little walk, come back. Crafting. Down there. Where there is maybe a chance of snow, not here though. Sort of down the West Country way. If there's a cloud coming in if another cloud hits it in the right way or the wind hits it in the right way then there could be snow so who knows we don't usually get a lot of snow here we don't usually get an awful lot of rain to be honest we have this year obviously but um, prior to that we didn't Okay, let's have a little look at these teddy bear heads. I'm not going to put his on, but I am going to grab this Ted's head, and I think I'm going to grab this Ted's head. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to take this one, which is this little guy at the side as well. So let's get some pads on those. So again, we're going to have to chop these up. I have got smaller ones, but it's just easier to just chop into a big one. And also, we tend not to have quite so many calf pages lying around. And just need some here. About half of that, I would say. I'm just going to give these a little bit of a curve. I won't bring in the tweezers for this one. So this is, which one is this? This is this one here. Okay. And then, I want to curve it a little bit, let's do that. Mm -hmm. 
And this one we have to kind of curve that way because this is long ways. better on the red and stand out. Let's bring, let's bring those same pads back in. Doesn't have to be wasted. And obviously you could bring in some ribbon um, you could be glittering along some of these stars, you might even have some sequins that are the same shape as these stars. That's going up there. And I'm going to come in with these gold ones I think. I have got an insert to this because I think I have got Christmas classics but uh, not to hand so and that would have to go on the back unless you wanted to put a tiny one on the inside which I have done before so where's my picker upper let's go chunky and then I think I've got Two sort of similar sized ones there. And I think I'm going to put three little ones going that way. Let's put those to the side. We probably will use them again. They're just like my favourite thing at the moment. Okay, so that is card number one finished. So it's quite a decent card. It's quite a lot of dimension on it. Probably wouldn't go in a normal envelope. I would say probably is going to need a six by six with. Um, maybe a half an inch depth envelope box, envelope box, as uh, crafters can manually call them. Let's put that to the side and let's do card number two. So card number two is going to be more of a square card. So I've got another 6 by 12 and this is actually not the 300 GSM one, this is um, a different card box. I found the pack and put it on the top and this is by Craft UK Limited and it's only 250 grams so it's slightly lighter than my 300 uh, GSM but still works as well so you know anything from 250 upwards is good for a card base I don't think you really want more than 300 uh, for a card base because of the layers you put on it Okay, so we've got our six by six there. So let's pop that out of the way. Bring the trimmer back in. So again, I'm going to use these uh, gold mirrors. And again, actually, I'm going to take three notches off this time. So one, two, three. Okay, we're going to go for slightly wider borders on this one just for a change. Okay, so that should fit plenty well. Yes, it does. And then this one, I'm going to go to 
another three notches I think two three one two three so really we're five and a half plus two notches okay so I'm going to chop that off and then if I go to five and a half and two notches let's see where that is Off. So let's take, grab a little bit of tape. So again, this is another piece you can save. I might try foiling onto it to see how that goes. And I'm just going to put them there. I'm not sure how wide this will be. It's probably about a half an inch. No, it's not. It's half an inch plus around about two notches. And I don't know if I want to peel that piece that back on or not. Let's have a look at that bit. No, I don't like that. I'm going to leave it off. Okay, so before I do any sticking, what I do need to do is put these layers on because I may have to trim some of the sides. Doesn't matter about the little bits, but these big bits for sure. So let's grab those pads again. This time we haven't got any of those guidelines to help us line up. So we have to do it by the insert itself and um, by the picture itself. So I'm going to line up with those teddies at the top. I'm actually going to just grab my scissors. Just cut across the a little more but I think I should be okay just wanted to keep that layer of dots in so again just gonna go straight across just check before I start taking the pads off so we need to go in a little more a little guillotine don't want to go too too much though because um, yeah, I think that's fine. Just didn't want it to um, sort of be cut underneath that line so that it would go sort of in that way because there was no real reason for it to do that so. Um, let's just pop that on. Uh, we've got those teddies there. Like so. And this one we don't have to worry about. It's got a pip there, so let's just get rid of it. Okay, 
So just get these pads off. This is the bit that takes the time. Okay, there's that one. And then we've got a couple of little bits of faces here. So let's pop that one. I'm going to bother with these paws. I've got a half a head there. And paws there. That is that. So let's just find some more thin ones. That one will make out. I've got some little bits here, so we'll use these. are a little bit dry. It's because we've had the heating on. And uh, just dries my hands out. Just give that a little shape around. Pop him into there. I'm going to leave that one for a minute because I do need to trim this edge. I want it straight. I do it layer by layer but I haven't this time so I've made it a bit harder for myself. Uh, this one is going under there. Look him in. It is on the end so we'll wait for that one. And we've got another little teddy here. Or at least his head. Some tweezers on this one. Okay, it's going in there. And we have another foot. So these two are from this one on the end, so what I'll do is I'll trim it down and then I'll decide whether I'm going to pop them on or not. So that thing that wasn't looking upside down, that's why it looked a bit weird. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just turn it over and just where I can see there's an edge. Just pop my scissors right up to it. And then let's have a little look at his head. Is that still going to go on? Yes, it is. You don't have to put as many layers as this on if you don't want to. You can use more on the other one. Just use this as a flat sort of topper, really. So just this back 
breaking up, it's just being a little bit difficult. What we got there, yeah, just put a little splatter of glue, just rub that away. Okay, so this is going to go on to our gold piece there. Like I say, it's got a slightly wider margin mound because we've done that uh, three notches rather than two. And then I was going to have a little bit of ribbon. So I have this gold ribbon or I have, actually I've got some green as well. I've got that brown. Oh, what was that Christmas green? So these are just new ribbons that I just um, got from AliExpress. Um, I think they're about 50p for each bundle. And I got one of each colour. I just need to find the end. Here we go. Yeah, feeling the green. So let's just pop the Just need to pull this through. There we go. And I think let's take have a little bow as well. So let's grab a little bit of red liner tape. You can see I use it right up to the actual roll. Just need two little pieces to keep this ribbon in the right place. that burnish down so if you burnish it down it really makes connection with the paper underneath the cardstock makes it easier to get the actual um, backing off so if you have been struggling to get the backing off try giving it a burnish okay so I don't want to use too much of this ribbon going into the page so Even is that oh, almost spot on? So that is awesome. And I just put that there just so that it doesn't stick to my mat while I'm looking at it. So just in case you wondered why I did that weird thing. So normal glues onto the back. I'm going to put a little bit of tacky glue under that ribbon and just press it in just for a bit of extra security. And then the glue in the corners as usual. Pop down. So, oh, back in that already. And then we can come on to here. because we haven't got a sentiment yet um, I want to keep that handy because I'm probably going to do a bow let me just grab my um, essential Christmas book of sentiments 2022 so I need something gold have I gone past the gold and I want some red or green so that's red is the season to sparkle and shine sending Christmas cuddles that's quite cute with the teddies Santa baby for a little sprout at Christmas uh, let's just see if there's any others oh, on. Uh, I'm 
dreaming of a white Christmas from my home to yours. Time for giving, thinking of you at Christmas. Good holy night. Merry Christmas from across the miles. Just checking there's no others. Oh, here we go. To you and your family at Christmas. Winter blessings, the greatest gift of all. Just for you, come let us adore him, warm his wishes. Now I think I'm going to go sending Christmas cuddles in the red. Pretty sure this is gold foil. Yeah. So we've got that one there. I'm going to let me grab my little bowl for that and just make it tiny tiny weeny bow with this so sometimes if my hands are doing well I can tie a bow just um, just tie a bow with any small amount of, of ribbon uh, but my hands are not great today quite a lot of pain I don't know whether it's the change in weather whether it's the cold so I definitely had to take more of my pain medications today. Let's come on down. Let's just do that one more time. Sorry guys. Right. Let's try that again. So we go round. We go under. And we come through and then we tie that nice and tight. And we can slip it and put that away before I lose it. That's better. And then we've got the cutest tiny little bow. This super thin ribbon. Let's get rid of these. So I'm thinking maybe this up here. And then some gems and I think that will be perfect so I'm going to use this pad it's pretty much all of it there put that. Oh, no let's put it the right way around blimey okay up there Bring in a little bit of um, Kalal 3D glue gel just because I find it's the best thing to glue my ribbons. Uh, glue dots don't seem to work so well for me. I'll just grab those, just pop that there. And, uh, grab just a little piece card there's just a little bit of glue poking out there because that does set you would see it once the card was done so we've got our sending christmas cuddles and then i'm going to go for some smaller ones on these let me just grab this and just tip a few more out okay let's see Made that the right way up. Oh. Yeah, oh, stuck together, frightened me then. Okay, who hasn't done that right? So let's go. I'm going to go with a big one in this corner actually. Uh, not quite that big though. So that we've got something coming round. And then I'm going to put two there and I want them to be quite small it's too small one two three I do feel like I need something up here so let's go with the smaller ones again
Okay. Okay, so all that needs is an insert. So I didn't get anything in the um, box that I could make an insert with, but I have got this pad. So let's have a look. Fun filled Christmas. And this is all gold foiling from our home to yours. Have a magical festive season. Send in warmest winter wishes, season's greetings, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Christmas blessings and goodwill. I think that first one. Have a fun for Christmas. What I'm gonna do is something I don't very often do is do a um a gold foil back in for it in the inside with this being a slightly lighter weight card i can get away with that so i'm going to go to two notches into the six on this i know we did the wider margins on the front but i just have to be careful because of that glue that's going to fit quite nicely and then we have the markings on the back for six by six. So if I cut that to six by six, six by This is an exact six by six or whether it's going to be slightly smaller. Okay, so it is just I'm gonna leave it at that. It's the tiniest, tiniest gold border. Like I couldn't do that again if I tried. But let's do that. So as usual with paper, I'm using my all purpose, uh, my yeah, my all purpose. A little bit of glue dots in the corner so I can still have my wiggle room time and once I've got that there I need to a good press down make sure there's none of that glue popping up because there's nothing worse than trying to write on something that's got glue on uh, but that's on there quite nicely so I'm going to pop that there so it doesn't squash my and then the from here on because we're now on card on that mirror card we can just do our normal layers just take some of that clue off it was a bit near the edge and then we'll pop that inside okay. So we have one finished card. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could use those um, foiled inserts for this one as well. I kind of think I would use just um, a, a normal insert that I've already cut some off because that's only if I put it behind there, that's only going to be a three by three piece, um, and then that'll be nice and easy um, to pop that in there. So, and it's not going to if I if I use that I have to cut so much off it I feel bad um, but if I'm just using a bit of an insert that I've already cut into then you know it's a result for me I'm quite happy okay so those are my two cards from Bundle of Bears and my um, goodie box my first little play with that so next time I come back I am going to be playing with box number two um, which has got different things in. If you watched the opening the other day, you'll see what's in there. I can't remember what was in there, but I'm sure it was lovely things um, that are going to be very easy for me to just pick up and play with, like this one. Um, I will put pictures of um, this up on Pinterest, um, Silver Jones Concoctions, and also on Facebook if you want a closer look. Um, and obviously, feel free to just let me know what you got in your boxes. Because I do like to know, um, you know, what everybody's getting. Um, 
I do watch the reveal box uh, reveal videos um, for Hunky Dory and anyone else that um, has them. I'm just using this um, dinky uh, dabber to just take away this just a little bit more glue there. And it might show up on the photo, so when I take it in a second, but hopefully it will have dried by then. But these are perfect for just taking a little bit of glue away, and you can use them again and again. Um, you know, I have a little pack of ones that I use again. The only time I can't use them again and again is when I'm using them with 3D glue gel, so um, because that does make them solid um but that's it all, all it i've got for you today um so thank you so much for watching back hopefully on monday all being well um and hopefully you will have a good weekend crafting as well so um happy crafting take care bye bye